So I'm Pouch Work from Mobile Syrup, and today we're taking a look at the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max. They're Apple's latest flagship smartphones. We just got Spigen's line of XS and XS Max, case, Max cases in, so we're gonna take a quick look at them. Um, some of these you guys have probably seen before, but there's been some subtle changes as well. So uh, first up, we have the XS Max's Ultra Hybrid. This case is really good if you wanna show off what the phone looks like, which, I mean, if you're buying an iPhone 10, you, you probably care about what your smartphone looks like. Um, so I'll pop it in here. This uh, case in particular is pretty snug. It's got these bumpered edges. There's also little kind of indents on the side here that help the phone from uh, getting, well, help, help the phone from getting scraped, like if, if you put it face down. Uh, so this is a pretty good offering if you want to show off what the phone looks like. So we'll pop that one off. It's a nice tight fit too, so you know the dust's not gonna get behind it. Um, and the next one we're gonna check out, and anyone who's looked at my case reviews or hands-on videos in the past will know that I'm a big fan of Spigen's Thin Fit cases. They're not the most protective, so it's a very, very thin case, um, and it doesn't offer a significant amount of protection but it still retains the phone's thin, sleek look, right? And I've seen this with the Note 9 and other speaking cases uh, of the thin fit variety. Um, so this is one of my favorite ones out there. It's really, really thin, still, look, still looks extremely sleek. So we'll pop that back down. And then move on to the 10s. So we'll put the 10s Max down over here. So the 10s, I got a few more cases from Spigen for this phone in particular. Um, and some of these uh, I've heard from readers in the past, like it's their, their favorite cases. Um, so this one in particular, this is the Ultra Hybrid and this is the translucent version. So again, similar to the, the, uh, the Ultra Hybrid for the 10s, this one doesn't have the sort of black uh, bumpers around the side. It's totally translucent. It shows off that gold sort of bezel that the new, the new 10s has. Um, it's also a really tight fit, which I like. Like some people, I guess get frustrated popping the phones inside the case, but like, I don't know, I, I would prefer to have a case that's tight on my phone than one that's loose and dust and debris is gonna get behind it, but that's just me. Um, so the 10S, uh, the 10S case is very similar to the 10S Max's version of this case, um, and it's great, it's a, good, it's a good option. So I'll pop that one off. And we'll move on to another translucent case. So this one, um, anyone who's watched my videos before, you'll know that I'm a fan of the liquid crystal, but one of my issues with it is that it's difficult to slide into my pocket, um, just because it's a little sticky. But some people might like that because it actually offers additional grip. Um, it makes the phone harder to, difficult, harder to fall out of your hand, which is definitely a plus if you're like me and you're a little clumsy. It's also got those like beveled edges that keep the screen from uh, sitting flat on a surface if you happen to place the phone that way. So we'll pop that one off. Now we're moving on to some of the more heavy duty offerings. This case in particular I was a big fan of with the Note 9. Um, so this is the Liquid Air, which is the same as the one down here. Well, no, that's Liquid Crystal. So that's Liquid Air. Um, and what it has is this sort of herringbone back, um, which I really like. It, gives, it kind of gives the, the case a sleeker look than your average TPU sort of case. Oh, I've got the camera on there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's great. It has a lot of grip to it. It even covers the buttons on the side, which is nice. It's obviously cut to fit the iPhone XS very precisely. Like you can see how tight the camera cutout is there. Uh, there's a lot, a lot to like about it. And it's a really simple, slim case that still offers an ample amount of protection. So we only got two left in this quick little hands-on video. Tight fit on this one, I'm trying to get it off. So the next case that we have here, this is the Slim Armor CS. And I know a lot of people that really like the Slim Armor CS. I wouldn't say that it's for me because I, I don't exactly want to keep my wallet in uh, or my cards inside my, my phone case. Um, I know some people that do, they don't even carry a wallet anymore. So this, this is definitely for that type of person who wants to go out and not have to bring their wallet around. I find this case in particular a little too bulky. 
but what you get with that bulk is ample protection. It's kind of got this two, two build um, body where it's got the TPU edges and then, then a, a plastic frame in the center. It's very heavy duty. It feels like something that would protect the, the 10S uh, significantly, but I, it's, it's not the case for me, you know, um, but it's still a really nice case. So we'll pop that one off. All right, time to move on to the next one. We also got another one I forgot about here too that we'll do after this. So this is the Tough Armor. This is very similar to the Note 9 Tough Armor offering. It's a little more angular on the sides, still has the button covers, but it's also got the kickstand, which a lot of people like. And this would be particularly useful with the 10s Max where the screen is incredible and you're actually gonna probably end up watching videos on it. Uh, that's something that I've been doing and I'm not even the type of person who typically watches video content on a phone. Um, so this kickstand definitely helps out with that. And uh, the cutouts are very precise too, which is always nice. And the last case that I'm gonna take a look at, um, it's, it's a case that I've never used before from Spigen, but I really, really like it. So this is the ThinFit 360. It's very similar to the ThinFit case, but it's, there's, there's some subtle differences that I, I really appreciate. Um, so let's, let's pop it on. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. There's, there's a few steps to it. So it's got this like backing, the same backing as the, the standard ThinFit, but then there's also this, this nice like, um, I guess you would call it border that goes around it. So this, this pops onto it. Siri thinks I'm asking her a question. Let's see if I can get this on. There we go, pops on. It's actually really easy to get on. It's a very tight fit. You can see I just kind of got the edges popped into their little cracks there. It's a great case. So it's it's the same thin fit case, but I, I think that it offers a little more protection around the display. And it also comes with a glass screen protector, which is something that I already put on the case. It comes in the box. Um, Speakin makes really great glass screen protectors. In some cases, I think they probably make the only ones worth buying for certain phones. Um, and also what I think is interesting about the ThinFit 360 is the little like cover here over the Touch ID sensor. I think that's really cool. I've never seen that before on, on a case. And if you're the type of person like myself who wants to keep your devices in really, really good condition, this is quite useful. Um, so yeah, that's that's the thin the Speakin's offerings for the 10s and the 10s Max. Um, and I think that that's pretty much it for what we're gonna do for this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to check out my full review of the 10s and the 10s Max on mobilesyrup.com and be sure to subscribe to our channel.